All right. Um, this is another testimony. You know, tar as a target individual, they want to make you accept these things. And I was not going to make this video, but uh, I understand that they want you to accept these manipulations. They do these disturbing things, but it's almost like sometimes like it's nonsensical uh, in the sense that, well, it's not nonsensical, but it's more like it's, all of this is disgusting. But sometimes it's like, how you, how can you explain even that? Um, you know, I heard, you know, I'm hearing these people tell me how they have arranged things that so when I'm gonna be framed, I'm gonna get tortured, I'm gonna get beat, I'm gonna be raped, I'm gonna be like they say all these things. Now I do believe that bad things are gonna happen to me, but I know why they're saying that. It's because they make me experience these disgusting things and they want me to subscribe to it. And they use fear tactics to get you to, to subscribe to it. Now, what specifically they do? Another thing, typical thing, they'll start playing my my libido and stimulate me in these disgusting things. Now, obviously, I know they manipulate the libido. That's what they do. They can do this in the, as easily as it, as, as it is. It's very, like, they, they easily can manipulate and force some force stimulations of some sort. Let me show you what specifically, and they're probably going to stimulate me, and it's, it's disgusting, but it's what they, they're capable of doing. So, I get a text from a perp. Uh, and she sends me a picture of this adorable baby boy. He's just like a like an adorable child, baby, like a few months old. Um, let me show you. And it's going to be blurred out because I don't want to show the baby. But I want to give you an idea, uh, a vague idea of how maybe this baby. Like, So I don't know if you can see. And this is an adorable baby. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's just like you can see the, the little onesie, his little chubby leg there. And, and it's just, you know, it's so sad to turn this adorable kid into something that they're going to try to turn into something sexual. They stimulated me. They even tried to make me look at this kid's growing. Like, this, this, this kid's a pampery. And they start trying to scare me. It's like, oh, you see, we proved it. Obviously, I know they can stimulate people in these disturbing ways. But the, the stupid thing is, I have a pictures in some app of mine where I'm holding a, a child. So the the black person is me and the non-black child is it's a child that I, I kind of saw growing up as a baby to the three, four year old. And he like so I'm like, so what happened there? Right? Because they usually, <laughs> they're like, oh, no, we just proved it. It's like, no, you proved that you do the perfect type of things. You know, it was disgusting. Like, I was nervous to, like, go to that to the picture because I, as I was prepping for this video, I was like, oh, are they going to stimulate me? As you hear the noise campaign, <laughs> that I'm supposed to subscribe because somebody slammed the door. And I was scared. I was like, are they going to stimulate me? And I knew that, and of course, they did stimulate me toward this baby. And they tried to, to force you to be nervous about the things they do. Can you imagine the person who just slammed this door knows that this is the things they do? He knows or she knows. But they think that because they slammed the door and they use this fear tactic, I'm going to subscribe to this. Now, let me show you how easily I can validate this type of tormenting. When you hear things like that, I also experience what is referred to as malodorants. This is the alteration of the smell sensation so that I am often made to smell various things, including smoke, burning, dirty diaper, or baby powder, which they sometimes combine with the pedophilia type of torture, including the threat of planted dreams. She literally say that when they have her smell something like baby powder, which they can control the sense of smell, they force her to have uh, the perfect type of torture. It doesn't end here. People. I take this whole thing into account so much. I make it so dramatic. It is dramatic. It's somebody trying to end my life. It's somebody trying to end who I am as a person. It's somebody trying to take over my mind. But 
thoughts of pedophilia. Putting thoughts of pedophilia. It doesn't end here. Systems into human will. In no touch torture, the techniques are more psychologically specialized for each target. Most common examples include homosexual targets that are forced with voices that are derogatory to their lifestyle and similar mental images. Almost all targets are forced to view child pornography in their mind. It doesn't end here. the target feels sexual arousal or he can sort of turn off so you heard about the pedophilia type of torture you heard that they can create sexual arousals you heard that almost all target individuals are forced to see child pornography in their mind you hear that this uh, trans woman saying that this she's forced to think in this pedophilia ways and you tell me that this is naturally happening to me you know how what they're doing to counter that it's fate. They are. It's you. They're gonna kill you. They're gonna rape you. Believe it. Stop lying to yourself. Do you understand how... We... And they're like, wait for it. Because we framed you. These people are pedophiles. They've been doing this pedophile type of torture. They've been doing this systematically, and they force people to have this disgusting stimulation toward this baby. They have no shame. And you won't be like, and they, I'm supposed to look at them, so my gosh, you call me. Slamming the door every time they do this disturbing stimulation, they do to me. Even the thoughts, you know, the, scary, the, the, the part was, was the, the nastiest part is like, I know that if I see this baby, you're going to stimulate me. I feel the stimulation right now, even think about this baby. Because this is nasty things they do. It's so disturbing. They're filled with it. These people are pedophiles that try to make you accept these pedophilia things and they like use this tone of voice. Oh, they're scared of you. It might be. These people are ra filled with pedophiles and they are here trying to make you subscribe to this shit. I'm sorry for the, the cursing, but sometimes I get emotional. Um, and it's because this I truly see them for the pedophiles that they are, as they are arranged for my, my my frame, my my torture for all of that. These people are going to go back and just like, oh my gosh, we got this man that we framed, that we manipulated into this, <laughs> and they're gonna live their life doing this thing to somebody else. Do, do you think I ever look at them? Oh my gosh, that was so me. This this chubby baby. This is just this how record like that's how I react to this baby. This is, they have no shame. And the sad part is like, oh, what, what happened here when I'm holding this baby? <laughs> they, almost, they, they, they almost stimulated me toward the blur that I created, the, 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 the story picture. It's, so what happened here? What happened? You hear this, this, <laughs> this, this, this perp try to sound. I think at this point, they, they purposely sound gimmicky. Because they're trying really to sound like a no, like they try to sound um, mystical. Oh, it might be. Because I remember when they started doing these pedophilia things, uh, three in the morning, they would wake you up and wake me up and be like, oh, you are, 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 like repetitively, right? And I'm like, oh, okay, I, I'm trying to go to sleep. Like, yeah, I might be. Yeah, I'm okay, I might be. That's why you hear these people just making this noise campaign. It's so pathetic. It doesn't even phase me anymore. Can you imagine? This is people. Like, how, that, that is what. And, and they, they have told themselves, like, we have war. You are not war. You are for pedophiles. <laughs> That's why I take pictures of these people when I can. That's why I want to, like, look at how these losers think they're winners. I hope, I truly hope that I captured the noise campaign. Listen to that. This is what you call a loser. A trash. He's using... 
he using trash as as noise campaign because he knows i'm never going to subscribe to this pedophilia shit. these people are paid those through and through and i'm speaking purposely in this voice so they can hear me if you see how this person looks like you'll know he sold his soul to pedophiles he, he you know and it's probably he's going to use his daughters and stuff like that trash I've, i can call him a pedophile in his face he knows that real life that wants me to subscribe to this and then you wonder why this this happened watch he's going to try to run back in his apartment He's saying I'm going to get knocked out. Images of abuse have been uncovered at other agencies that handle sensitive information. <laughs> he, he, and in November he's 2009, been quiet report, now. the Department of Defense acknowledged that dozens of Pentagon staff members or contractors had such images. In 2014, the Inspector General of the Intelligence this Community is who he found that two to. officials from the National Reconnaissance Office, which oversees America's spy satellites, acknowledged viewing images of child sexual abuse during polygraph examinations. This is so disturbing. At a symposium in 2016, Daniel Payne, a top Pentagon security official, said that when workers' computers were examined, the amount of child porn I see is just <laughs> unbelievable. Trash. Is this something that is happening for whatever reason with more frequency um, in our intelligence agencies? Or is this something that <laughs> is more pervasive in the general population than I originally realized i mean what's going on here this is Look, so I mean, bizarre remember, so evil ali we're told and i when i was put through recruitment into the intel community you know you're put through polygraphs you're put through a rigorous selection process why aren't these people weeded out why are so many right. pedophiles allowed to be given top level security clearance remember these aren't just people walking in off the street and saying hey can i get hired can i get a job you're put through an extremely rigorous background check screening screening process it's called an ssbi single scope background investigation there are people they interview you they interview your family they interview your contacts okay they go through your online footprint they go through everything so why is it that when they're going through these footprints they're not checking these digital footprints they're not checking for, for so, so many pedophiles getting through their ranks. If it were up to me, you need to go into Congress and Congress needs to launch a brand new church committee, number one, to talk about domestic surveillance operations, but number two, to ask the question, why are there so, so many, many pedophiles, pedophiles sitting behind those computer screens within the walls of Langley, within the Pentagon, and throughout the broader intelligence community? So this man, he came to make noise campaign because, like I said, they somehow want me to subscribe to this pedophilia type of torture. And when they were doing these things to me, three in the morning, you are, you are, you are, it's you, it's you, you are. I'm like, okay, I might be dismissing this, these people. They're like, oh, you might be. That's proof. <laughs> That's trash. They are so, and this man, they have no shame. He thinks that because he's going to make some noise campaign, slam the door. I'm going to be, oh no, it's true. You guys are not manipulating me. I, I, tr I tr truly believe it's me. I'm organically re reacting this way. And then he says something, that's porn. They probably implanted child porn. They have no shame. And they try to come up with things while they feel pedophiles, that only child porn is government devices. And they think I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's fate that this came out while they try to make me subscribe to these things. So when they do these things toward this baby, I'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's me. This is how I react to this thing. I know this is what they do. This trash that's using trash to make me subscribe to this. Saying it's, we'll see in court, probably have his daughter or something. I think that's the father of one of them. Who's going to say that if you see his face, you know this man is just, oh, Jesus, gives you the creeps. They are trash. They are trash and they say, oh, we're poor. No, you're trash. Poor. Well, poverty has nothing to do with you being a trash. These people are disgusting. So, let me say again what, what they do. This is what they stimulate me.
this baby, which I'm, I'm completely blurred. This is the baby. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This baby, right? I'm, I'm blurring it. She's assimilating. This is like a few months old baby. She's assimilating me. And you know, my lips, they try to make me feel, they do some weird thing with my lips so they can just say, oh, you see, that's proof. You see, why were you, why were you doing this with your lips? These people are delusional. And you hear them using trash nose campaign, which is fit them perfectly. Because they are trash. So whatever manipulation, however they make it, and some, sometimes they do some stupid things. Like, I, I'm not going to show my lips, but you know, I puckered my lips when I was looking at it. Like that. And they're like, oh, you see? You see? <laughs> they, these people have sold their soul to pedophiles. They're not a war. They're not. They just want you to accept this nasty pedophilia manipulations they have used childlike individuals they have used these creepy people they have used all kind of diff nastiness to get you to subscribe to this you hear this noise campaign because the my lips if i could do it i was doing this when i was trying it's like, oh is it lips <laughs> when when i was doing this I'm not gonna show you my lips, but it's just that's how pathetic it is. I want to embarrass these people. They know they sold the soul to pedophiles. They're not a war, they'll never be a war. They just they just trying to make me subscribe to this. So I arranged this thing, but look at how pathetic and low life. I'm so just thankful I didn't have to live the way they live. I'm just thankful. These people are fully functional human beings, completely able. To do whatever they want in life. And this is how humiliating they have to be. Do you know the, these people are still trying to make noise campaign based on that? <laughs> because of the, my lips. <sighs> they have lost their. But I'm just thankful um, that I don't have to live their life. Imagine if my, my job is like, oh my gosh, okay, we're going to try to force him to make him believe this. <laughs> I'm thankful that I didn't have to humiliate myself this way. Because when I do, let me just, and I say that these people are saying, you're going to get knocked out. You understand? This pedophile can even, I feel, and, and I'm doing this on purpose. So this. No shame. And then I think I'm going to get knocked out. I'd rather get knocked out than live like you. This pedophiles, he, he, he has gone to a level of no return. That's why I take pictures of these people. And then you wonder why there's so many pedophiles in these agencies, in this intelligence community, with so many verifiers like them. They want you to subscribe to these things. It, sometimes it's not even like this, this moment when they start doing my lips. Do this, I, don't care. I don't care about that. But when they start playing my libido, which they, they did this earlier, sexual arousals. That's disgusting. They have no shame. And me as a target individual, that's my job. To not only make sure to all target individuals to never subscribe to these things. They are the pedophiles. You see, the noise campaign, all of that is to make you accept these manipulations. To make you accept these things. They start with the sexual arousal and then they're going to try to do, you know, they try to they make you do some weird thing that has nothing to do. That's not even sexual. And it's like, oh, you see, you, 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 you poker your lips like that when you like. <laughs> it's delusional. It's sad. It's pathetic. While they actually work with pedophiles, they try to turn you into a pedo. So to all my target individuals, stay strong. Because the day... You have to do these things where <laughs> you want somebody to subscribe to this. And I'm purposely doing the thing with the lips where I'm puckering my lips. It's sad. 
Well, <laughs> I have a profile picture of this. These are the winners. Because they, they just say, oh, we lost. No, I know my brain is for you guys to manipulate, but I'll purposely sit down the video to let them see themselves what they are. They made the noise campaign. You heard that. Hopefully, I captured that. They heard the, 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 the obvious manipulation that other target individuals have said. And then you see how when they become even more illogical, we try to, to try to make me feel, and then try to make me bite inside here. And we, we, me just pucker my lips. Like that. And they're like, I did it. They are so delusional. But target individuals, they're strong. These people have made me feel uncomfortable with so much. I'm glad that this is this happened actually on camera because I can watch this again and be like, this is so indignified. And this is the name of this video. Be glad that you didn't have to this to live this indignified life. And please, you know how they try to make it sound like, oh, we're poor. As if because you're being poor, not poor, rich. It's just not being trash is trash. Rich or poor. And you literally throw in trash when you do this trash thing. To all my tag individuals, stay strong. This could be life. This could be the life that you live. Selling yourself to pedophiles. Well, I'm listening to why is there so many pedophiles in these agencies? They're like, oh, you, you live. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. They have no shame. So stay strong.